If you haven't heard, the highly anticipated series Cobra Kai is returning for a fifth season. In fact, it's already completed filming. Does this mean we can expect the new season soon? What will happen to Kreese as he faces time in prison? Will Miguel find his dad? And when will Daniel finally put an end to Cobra Kai? Keep watching to find out all of the crucial questions we need to be answered. So, what can we expect from Season 5? It is said that Cobra Kai Season 5 will be the wildest one yet. Co-creator Hayden Schlossberg posted a very intriguing tweet saying, Cobra Kai Season 5 answers the long-ass question. What would have happened had Daniel lost at the end of Karate Kid Part 3? Nerds of the Valley, be afraid. Co-creator Josh Harold also said, The bad guys won in Season 4, so there's gonna be some hell to pay, whether there's more hellfire or retribution, which teases an exciting new storyline with the potential this new series will be more chaotic than ever before. Cobra Kai was first launched on YouTube, but due to its massive success, it was eventually purchased by Netflix. But did you know that when Cobra Kai was first created, Netflix and Hulu were among the original bidders before the program was eventually released on YouTube Red? Hurwitz teased what fans may anticipate in the next season during an interview with Deadline at the PGA Awards. He said it will involve a lot of insanity, a lot of karate, and maybe some more recognizable faces for Karate Kid fans. Does this mean we may see a Hilary Swank appearance? In the final episode during a visit to Mr. Miyagi's grave, fans got to see the return of Chosen Toguchi, who is the main enemy in the film for the Karate Kid Part 2, teaming up with his old foe Daniel LaRusso. Will this be the final match for the ponytailed villain Terry Silver? Will Miguel be able to track down his father? and how will he respond when he learns he has a son? There has been one lingering mystery that has captivated fans of the Miyagi-verse throughout Cobra Kai. What happened to Miguel Diaz's father? We last saw Miguel getting onto a bus to track his father down in Mexico. If he does manage to find his father, this will be a huge shock, as his mother revealed that his father had no idea Miguel exists. Details have been vague on the background of this man. However, all we know so far, according to Miguel's mother, Carmen, is that he is a bad man, with many enemies and a dangerous job. What was so frightening about his job Job that meant Carmen needed to run away from her home in Ecuador. There are many theories fans have delved into surrounding the identity of this seemingly corrupt bad man. Fan theories include villain Mike Barnes, who was the main opponent of Daniel LaRusso in The Karate Kid Part 3. Another contender being none other than Terry Silver. Maybe he could be a completely new character who could even be a positive influence on Miguel. We did see Johnny become a father figure to Miguel as he gets closer to his mother after finding love with Carmen. But with the proposed arrival of her ex-husband, will this mean a new enemy for Johnny. What's your theory on who you think is Miguel's father? Let us know in the comments below. Who is joining the cast in Season 5 from Karate Kid? So we know co-creator John Horowitz teased us by saying we might expect some more recognizable faces for Karate Kid fans. We know for definite we'll be seeing the return of Karate Kid's Chosen, who was the main opponent for Daniel in Karate Kid 2. Chosen was Sato's dojo's best pupil and later became the sensei of Miyagi-Do Karate in Okinawa. With Chosen's ability to teach Daniel the hidden technique of the Miyagi-Do way, Daniel will enlist Chosen's assistance with his dojo class. LaRusso's counter-style teachings are ineffective in preventing Cobra Kai from winning the competition, so Daniel will try to teach his students a new method to fight now that Chosen has joined the team, one of which has the potential to severely hurt and paralyze opponents in a fight. Talking of returning characters, Terry alluded to the reintroduction of a potential character from the original Karate Kid franchise. When John Kreese was being arrested at the end of Cobra Kai Season 4, Silver said, I'm sure I can dig up an old friend or two to help out with Cobra Kai while you deal with your legal problems. Many assume this is a reference to Mike Barnes, the obvious pick for the old buddy, even though they weren't exactly best friends over the years. Now, Silver did say old friends to Kreese, which might imply the reappearance of his original minions, Snake and Dennis, as known to Karate Kid fans. They were the two thugs Terry hired to stand in for Barnes in the Karate Kid Part 3. If you're itching to find out what happens to Kreese in prison and the release date for the new series, stay watching because we'll be delving into that next. What will happen to Kreese in prison? So, in the final episode of Season 4, we see Terry Silver shock viewers by betraying Kreese and setting him up as the culprit for the aggravated assault and the attempted murder of Stingray. Terry had told Stingray that the only way he could become a member of Cobra Kai is if he tells the police that the person who attacked him was Sensei John Kreese. It's ironic that despite the many terrible things Kreese has done over the years, it's finally a crime he didn't commit that finally put him behind bars. So, what will the future hold for Kreese while he's locked up? Will he use his cunning words and karate moves for protection, or could this be what gets him in trouble and humbled pretty quick? There's also another possibility that Stingray will ultimately come to his senses and tell the truth, freeing Kreese. Could the season open up an opportunity for a redemption arc for Kreese in the future seasons? According to co-creator Josh Harold, there's gonna be a lot of people hitting each other and kicking one another in the next season, but the story is gonna move in a new path that no one can possibly predict. They do, however, have an ultimate goal, according to co-creator Hayden Schlossberg. We don't know how many seasons it will take to get there. We're having a great time making it. If it becomes too much for us, we'll stop sooner. We have a few more seasons planned. So the good news is that it does not appear Cobra Kai 
will be hanging up their belt just yet. So when is season 5 coming out? So far, there's been no official release date, but what we do know is that season 4 was completed in April 2021 and was then released 8 months later in December 2021, and season 3 came out in January 2021. Season 5 filming was finished between September and December of last year, and the program has been in post-production ever since, leading to predictions that the highly awaited show could return to our screens in the middle of the year, around July or August 2022. But once again, this is dependent on Netflix. Now let's do a recap. If you've forgotten or haven't yet binge watched season 4, we're here to give you a rundown of the important bits from the previous season. First, Daniel and Johnny work together as co-partners, but the two men can only preserve the peace for so long, before they clash over one another's ways. Sam and Miguel are back together, which causes both of their exes, Robbie and Tori, who are now teammates in Cobra Kai, respond by going to prom together. And because it's Cobra Kai, and the squad have a massive brawl at the school dance. Sam's mother thinks Tori must be stopped, and Amanda unintentionally helps Tori get fired from her work, which she needs to support her family, and this just makes Tori angrier. Remember Kreese agreed to leave Cobra Kai if his squad lost? Hawk and Robbie compete in the finals for the boys, and Hawk takes the win for Miyagi-Do. Tori fights Sam again, but unintentionally elbows Sam during the battle and wins bringing the win home for Cobra Kai. But at what price? Terry Silver is bribing the ref, and Tori overhears this. Johnny and Carmen's relationship continues and are concerned about Miguel's reaction. However, they've got bigger things to worry about as Miguel flees the valley to meet his absent father. Terry Silver and Kreese butt heads while attempting to run Cobra Kai. Terry recognizes Kreese as his weakness and frames him for a crime he did not do, and we last see him being surrounded by police and in prison. And there you have it, all the intriguing questions we need to have answered in the upcoming season. What do you think Season 5 will be like? Which original Karate Kid characters do you want to see return? Will Cobra Kai ever be defeated for good? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching!